Hello again guys, well, let's get some lists going. So I'm going to, I finally figured out what I'm going to do with this sub subsection. And what I'm going to do is containing a list. All right, so let's get a list going. So there are different types of lists you can do, say with uh, bullets or with numbers or, you know, there are different styles. So I'm going to start with a bullet list or an itemized list or it's not itemized, it's itemize. Uh, if we're gonna start an itemize, we need to end an itemize. How does this work? Okay, so the first thing we can do is we can create an item. This is our first line. This is our second line. And I am making it longer so that you can see how text wraps around automatically in LaTeX and good things come in threes. So if we build this, here is our list. So first line, second line, third line. Cool. Okay, so that wasn't terribly complicated. What happens if you want a sub bullet? Well, the way you go about doing that is you begin a second itemize. And of course you have to end it. And then within here, a bullet within a bullet all right and you can do like a second one and two and if you do that uh, no D there we go so we have a bullet within a bullet or a sub bullet so we got that going on uh, something else you can do is you can have a title if you wish if you do that, what you'll see is that a bullet within a bullet lines up with second one, two, and the bullet is replaced with the title. And the title is like the optional thing you can have with the item uh, is there. So this looks kind of dumb, but where you might use something like this is, let's say we just start at the bottom here. Just start at the bottom here. We can go item... Uh, Let's go title because we're creative, blah, blah, blah. And then we create a, this is a longer title, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and if we save this and we build that, you see that it actually can overwrite into the margins if you want, and it sets it up so that everything is aligned. So this could be, you know, it, if you're if you're making a list and you want like bold face and then blah 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 bold face blah 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 this is how you can do it with um, item something else you could do uh, is enumerate and what that is is instead of beginning in enumerate instead of beginning another itemized list enumerate you can do this and you can go item this so you know, like some people like lists with numbers instead. And if we do that, this is where now we're uh, numbering them instead of using bullets. And so let's say we go a little bit deeper here. we build that we have three bullets deep now I don't know about you guys but I really don't like a dash as a bullet symbol and I don't like an asterisk as a bullet symbol a bullet for a bullet symbol is okay how can we change this well let's we could write it here but I'm gonna write it up at the top because if we write it here if we write it down where our list is and we have another list before it uh, the commands won't work so let's go up here and let's go bullet bullet preamble so some things you can play with here is let's rewrite the commands renew the commands uh, the label item one let's change that to bullet well actually it's already like that so let's leave it like that renew command label item two and let's make that one a diamond 
And there are different styles. There are different symbols you can use. You can look it up if you don't like these particular ones that I'm using, but I'm just showing you what we can do here. So let's make this one a circle. Build. Ah, uh, okay, so let's add a third here. Ah, uh, yes, okay, so let's close that off with it. And let's close that off. That's probably our problem. Okay, there we go. So now we have our bullets replaced with a diamond and a circle. So uh, it's up here in the bullet preamble and we can control those bullets. And all lists that we make will have this type of uh, bulleting system. So there you go, lists, quick and easy. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, my next video will be introduction to math. That will be fun. See you then.